Hey besties, so what I'm doing today is a M&M wrapper. I am going to do this in Cricut Design Space. You can always use these same measurements in Publisher or Word, Photoshop or whatever other um, software you use. You can use these same measurements. I'm going to design the car theme m and wrapper. Here's one that I already did for my son's graduation, but I wanted to do a design for you. This one was just really time consuming because of all these different uh, paint splats and all that stuff. So I'm just going to do one that's a tad bit easier and give you guys the measurements. So let's get down to the business. So we'll start with two squares. The first square that you'll use, you're going to click your lock proportions and you are going to make this 7 inches by 6.5. The next square will be for the middle and we'll make that one 7 inches by 3 inches. So these will basically be your measurements for the M&M wrapper. This will be your front and these two pieces will be the back of your wrapper. So I will start off with making my uh, biggest square um, the color red. Okay, and I'm going to make it a print. This one, I'm going to go here to make this yellow, okay? And then I will go back to my shapes, insert a square, and this one I'm going to do at 2 inches by 7 inches. So I want this one to go right here in the middle. And I'm going to make this a print. So for this gray square that I have here, I'm going to go to print, go to pattern, and I'm going to insert um, this pattern that I uploaded. All you have to do if, if you see or search something on Google, like, you know, gold backgrounds, um, checkered backgrounds, whatever it is, you just go here to your upload and you insert it as a pattern fill. And that's where it'll show up on that side panel. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and enter all the clip art that I'll use and then I'll come right back to the video. Okay, so this is um, all the stuff that I'm going to use. It's going to be fairly simple design, um, but I'm going to just start inserting stuff here. Anything that goes here on top or on the bottom has to be flipped horizontal and vertical. Okay, so I'm just going to use the same font that I used for the Rice Krispie Treat. So I'm going to go here. It's called Barbatric. This one right here. I got it from Defonce. So I'll link it down below if you're interested. And then down here you can go ahead and make your own little like racing number. Or whatever, if it's for a birthday party, you can make the racing number whatever age they are. So I will go ahead and flatten this. I'll go to make it. And you'll see what they look like here. Printer, advanced options. Go to preferences and then premium presentation mat is what I print on and high quality. In copy paper setting, but one thing to know if you're using glossy paper, 
or even copy paper and you have brand new mats, don't do it because it will tear up your um, image and you'll have to reprint it. So I suggest either using an older mat that it, it doesn't have as, as much adhesive to it or cutting it with scissors either way. Okay, so I'll go ahead and get this cut and printed. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out.